Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In the last video, I have shown you how you can download and install Qt on your Windows operating system. And I have also shown you how you can create this simple uh, test Qt project in order to test whether our installation was successful or not. Now in this video, we are going to create our first Qt project from the scratch and I'm going to explain you each and every line of code line by line so that we can understand what is what in Qt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this uh, project which I've created last time. So just right click on your project and then click close project. Okay. And it's going to close the project. Now we are going to create a new project. So go to file here and then create a new project. So just click new file or project. And in here, this time we are not going to choose this Qt widget application, but we are going to go to the category other project, which is this category. And then we are going to make an empty Qt project. So just choose empty Q make project. Okay. So it's an other project and then just choose empty Q make project and then click choose and then give the name to your project. So I'm going to name it as hello world. Okay. And then click next and use the default configuration, click next and then click finish. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to create a project for you and it's going to create one file for you inside your project, which is hello world PRO or hello world dot PRO, which is the project file for your uh, project right now it's just like a make file for your c++ program if you have used c++ uh, earlier then you know what is uh, make file right or c make file so it's just like a c make file or a make file in qt which is called qmake Okay, so let's define some uh, fields in the QMake file first, and then we are going to create our uh, main.cpp file. Actually, let's just first create a main.cpp. So right click on your uh, project and then click uh, add new, and we are going to create a new C++. So choose C++ and then choose source file here. Okay, and then click choose. And in here, just write main.cpp. Okay, so it's going to create a source file called main.cpp. Click next, and it's going to the, be the part of your uh, hello world.pro. So just click finish. Okay, so now you have here main.cpp, which is blank, right? Now, as soon as you add this main.cpp in your project, go to your hello world.pro file and you can see there is uh, this source uh, field created here and then this file name is added this means this is the part of our project this main.cpp now in order to add uh, or compile our program using qt widgets we need to add some uh, you know variables here so I'm going to just uh, press enter and in here above the source, I'm going to define some fields. First field is Qt. So just write Qt is equal to, as I have shown you in the first video, that Qt uh, GUI application mainly uses two main libraries. One is code library and other is GUI library. Okay. So you need to just add these two uh, names or keyword after equal to in your PRO file. So just write Qt is equal to core space GUI. So this is going to add these two libraries. One is core library and other is GUI libraries into your uh, project. Okay. Now, next step is to define which version of uh, Qt we want to use. So, for example, we want to use uh, Qt 5 and uh, there is Qt 4 also available, right? So, I'm just going to add a little code for that. So, just write greater than and then just write Qt 
major version and just give comma here and then give four okay so we want to use uh, the major version greater than four okay and then just give colon here and then we want to create a Qt widget application. So just write Qt once again and then write plus equals widgets. Okay, so just write widgets here. So this is basically we are saying that we want to make a widgets application. Actually, I forgot here also to add this plus or concatenation symbol so you need to write qt plus equals uh, core and uh, GUI okay and uh, just uh, add this line also and then save your project file by pressing ctrl and s button okay so ctrl s which is going to save your project okay now we are going to go to our main.cpp file and in here we are going to include some uh, libraries so just write include and the most basic and important library in qt is q application so just write q application okay so this is the most important library in uh, qt and now we are going to create our main function so just write int main and in here we are going to pass two arguments which are just write int a r g c so just write here g c and then care pointer a r g v as we uh, do in normal c plus plus programs right so just write and then give these square brackets here okay and then just give these curly brackets and in here first of all we are going to define the object of q application and so just write q application here and just define the object of it so just write the uh, app here and the constructor of this q application takes two argument which are these uh, arguments right argc first and then argv which is this one okay now in the next step the most basic qt application you just need to add a you know q application uh, class and create an object of it and then you can just return so just return app dot exec so just call a method called exact here okay so i'm going to just uh, save this file and i'm going to build it first first of all and if i see green here then i will be able to run it so i'm going to run it by clicking this green button and what it's going to do is it's going to do nothing because we don't have any uh, widget inside this qt application now whatever you write between these two lines of code will be added to your GUI application. So this uh, application object we have created to manage application wide resources, right? So in here, first of all, I'm going to, for example, I want to add one label inside my Qt application. I can first do or include a Q label. So just write Q label so include a q label and then we will be able to create a q label object so just uh, write q label and uh, name your label for example label itself and i'm going to create a pointer of this object and is equal to new q label and the constructor of this label takes uh, one argument basically which is the text on this label for example hello world okay so this is the basic uh, you know text which will be shown on your label now if you just take your label object and then just call a method called show then once again you compile your code so just save everything save all and then it's going to compile your code once again 
and once you see green here you can run your uh, code and you can see hello world is uh, printed here and you can see this uh, label basically which uh, has the text uh, this hello world now let's add some more uh, you know attributes to our label so for example we want to add uh, some uh, title to our uh, label how can we do that so just use your label object once again and then call a method called set window title so set window title which is this option okay and this is going to add a title to your uh, you know window of your label so for example i'm going to write my app for example okay and then once again uh, save your program and build it and run it so i'm going to just run it and you will be able to see when i just make it bigger that it's showing the title my app which is this one right now you can see it's uh, you know whenever i run my uh, program it just shows this label in this small little space right so i want to resize my label so what i can do i can once again use this label and call the method called resize okay now it takes uh, two arguments one is the width and other is the height so just give 400 by 400 for example and then save your program build it again and then run your program again and it's going to show you the label which is 400 by 400 okay so this is the very basic qt uh, project we have created and i have shown you how you can add uh, these uh, you know qmake fields here in uh, hello world.pro file and how you can uh, add the basic uh, application headers and how you can create your, your most basic qt application now from the next video i'm going to create your normal widget application and we are going to see more details about the qt widget application but i just wanted to show you in this video how this uh, qt project is created and what is what line by line so i have uh, created this video so i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now